Hey everyone, so I am just doing an update video on my cardboard beds. They're going to be no dig beds and we've done a few things um, over the past couple days to prepare for the dirt and compost. So first, um, I laid more cardboard down in the areas that needed more cardboard. Then I kind of lined the beds with some wood and other things just to create a barrier between the beds and the grass because we have very uh, prolific weeds here, which is, they're, they've been a struggle over the past few years. Then after that, I put up my tomato fence. So Dave and I put this up together um, one afternoon and it looks pretty good. So today I laid down just a few more pieces of cardboard and my plan is to dig out some weeds, possibly lay one more board down, um, just prevent weeds from entering the bed and then we'll put the soil in. So for no dig beds, I would typically try to fill this whole area with compost, but because compost was more expensive than this organic garden soil, I decided to do the soil and then add some compost on top of it. <clears throat> so today I'm going to be trying to get rid of some of these last few weeds that are sort of against the house or the garage. And then after that, I will probably lay a board across this whole area against the garage just to prevent those from coming back. And then we will fill this area with soil. Okay, got all my weeding done, so next up is putting these bags of soil onto the cardboard. All right guys, and just like that, we are done. Let's take a look at the new no dig beds. Here they are. I am so excited how these turned out. Um, I didn't even use all the bags of soil that I thought I would. I ordered 14 and I have three left, so I used 11 bags. And this soil, guys, is seriously like at least six inches deep, if not more in every single area. I'm glad I put those logs up in the front because they really caught some of the soil. Um, and the soil is just so nice and workable. I don't know much about this brand. It's organic soil, but I don't know how nutrient dense it is. It's for, it said it's for flower and uh, garden beds, but um, We'll see, I am planning on adding a little bit of compost on top of them uh, just to make up for any potential lack of nutrients. Uh, but honestly, I think it's gonna be fine. Um, and I did try to put some along the back edge here just cause the tomatoes will be going almost right against the fence and I wanted them to have room for their roots to grow a little bit uh, under the fence and they will be able to break through the cardboard too. I'm not worried about that. But I think all of our vegetables are gonna be so excited uh, to be here this summer. All right guys, so that's it for building our no dig beds. Um, I am gonna do one more video in this sort of no dig bed series and it's gonna be cost breakdown. I think you guys are gonna be amazing amazed at how inexpensive putting in these beds were. Um, this, the tomato side, is 14 feet by 2 feet. The pepper side um, is 12 feet by 2 feet. And then this little patch right against the corner of the garage here is 2 feet by 2 feet. 
So I am super excited to do cost breakdown with you guys because I think that that is one of the main barriers of people not wanting to start their own gardens and grow their own food, or grow their own food is the cost. They're afraid it's going to be super expensive, but I was doing the numbers in my head and I was like, man, I feel like I robbed some like someone because this bed was so inexpensive to build. Um, and it would have been way more inexpensive if I had found a different, if I had had my own compost and if I didn't have to depend on store-bought soil. Um, but we'll go through all of that in the last video of this series, so make sure you keep an eye out for that. But thank you for watching, guys. Uh, you all have a good day. Bye.